Hey there everyone, meteorologist Daniel Phillips here. I wanted to give you a quick update from the weather lab on Tropical Storm Nate. In case you missed it, Tropical Depression 16 officially became a tropical storm earlier on this morning and sites still set on the Gulf of Mexico and could be impacting areas along the Gulf Coast as early on Sunday morning. So I figured we should get into the forecast and talk about everything that we're going to be seeing. Here's a look at the tropics as far as uh, the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico is concerned. And we have our system just down off the coastline of Nicaragua. I've seen a couple flare-ups up along the coast early this morning. Structure still lacking, but it is really close to the coastline. It's supposed to move through Honduras today, back out into more open water by tomorrow. And I think we could start to see some strengthening then as well. National Hurricane Center expecting this to strengthen eventually into a Category 1 storm. And that could be as early as Saturday morning out in the Gulf of Mexico. Pause this right around the time we're expecting it to make landfall along the mouth of the Mississippi River. Now notice that while the track goes up through the Mississippi, the cone of uncertainty, which you need to be paying attention to, that stretches up towards the basin, inching into Acadiana. And so we'll definitely want to pay attention to this storm. The time to review your hurricane plan is now to make sure uh, that if you do need to act, you can do so quickly. This storm moving very, very fast does not give us a lot of time to act if it continues to trend this way. We could see it wash out even by Monday morning. We're sitting here now getting close to Thursday afternoon, and it's going to make that much uh, ground. It's going to cover that much ground in a very short amount of time. I want to give you an idea of just the, the amount of uncertainty that we're looking at. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two big models, the European and the GFS. Those who are big fans of weather will be familiar with these two. Notice that the European, which is in a purplish color, a little further towards the east, that's trended westwards over the last couple days, but it's not just track, it's intensity, which is very hard to forecast for. And the track now, uh, closer to the Mississippi, this is following more along the lines of the National Hurricane Center, but notice how much stronger it is than what the GFS, which is further to the west, but a little bit weaker as well. Again, this is just raw model output. That's not a, a guarantee of, of which is going to happen, but it gives you an idea of the, the kind of complicated forecast that we are actually looking at with Tropical Storm Nate. So the best thing to do is make sure that you do stay up to date with all the different advisories. Rob is going to be in a little later on this afternoon and evening. We'll be back with you tomorrow morning, and then we will continue our coverage likely onwards into the weekend. So make sure that you just stay tuned to KTC both on air and online. For now, in the Weather Lab, I'm meteorologist Daniel Phillips.